are at a site called Mount Zion Church and we're going to get a little bit of information about something during the Civil War. Okay, go ahead, Jim Hilbold. This is an 1863 Springfield 58 caliber rifled musket and I'm going to do a demonstration on uh, how this musket was loaded. The first thing we do is we pull the hammer back into the half, half cock position. In this position the gun can't be fired, thus the phrase do not go off half cocked. All right. Next we have a self-contained cartridge. Inside this cartridge is black powder and a mini ball. This is what the mini ball looks like inside, 58 caliber. So, in order to uh, load this weapon, you had to have at least two teeth because you had to be able to bite something. <laughs> so, on the cartridge, you would bite the paper, exposing the powder inside. Pour the powder down the muzzle. You would load your mini ball on top. Take your ramrod. Make sure you tamp your bullet down tight. Always returning your ramrod so it doesn't become lost. If you fired the gun with the ramrod in, it would shoot down like an arrow and then you wouldn't have the use of it. Next you take a musket cap, put it over the cap, and then you're ready to fire. Next we have a Sharps carbine. The Springfield was a muzzle loading weapon which the bullets were loaded in from the muzzle. This is a breech loading weapon. Breech beating the back of the gun. Use the same type of cartridge. Same type of cartridge. But you didn't have to bite off the paper. The cartridge would slip into the bore. All right. And then, as, the, as you close the breech, it would slice off the end of the paper, exposing the powder. Load a musket cap on here. The same process to fire. This is a Remington model 44 caliber uh, revolver. This is a Colt model 44 caliber revolver. Uh, Samuel Colt was selling these uh, guns to the federal government during the Civil War and he was charging them $25 a piece for these guns. Remington came along and said, I'll make a better gun for you and charge you less. So he made these guns and charged $12.50 to the federal government. This uh, has six, six chambers and uh, it loads the same way um, as the mus uh, musket. Has, the balls have to be loaded into the cylinder. But one thing that's nice about that is you have six and also the cylinder can come out. So these cylinders could be preloaded and you could carry them in your pouch. 
and when you shot one up, you could load the cylinder back up. This is a cartridge box. This is what the soldiers would carry to carry their cartridges in. It has little individual metal boxes in here. And they would just load their cartridges into these boxes. Cleaning pads. Black powder is very caustic. If you don't clean your black powder weapons after you use them, uh, it causes your gun to rust. This is a pouch that held cartridges for a pistol, much smaller. The cavalryman might carry uh, binoculars. This is a cap pouch. This is what they would carry the caps in for firing. They would have a pouch full of those. Canteen. And uh, might carry a field compass with you, powder horn different types of side knives.